Hi, I'm Bob Wisdom Savage, Curator of European Edge Weapons here at the Royal Armouries in Leeds. And I'm proud to say we've just taken possession of the latest sword in the Master Swordsmiths collection from Weta Workshop in New Zealand, which is a replica prop of Thorin Oakenshield's sword, Orchrist, from the forthcoming movie The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. As you can see, it's quite a large sword. It's based on a falchion, a type of medieval cutting sword. It's got some idiosyncratic touches, like the grip itself is made from the tooth of a dragon. In actual fact, of course, it's made by the wonderful craftsman down at New Zealand for the movie that's hitting cinemas very, very shortly. In the movie, the sword is used by the dwarf Thorin Oakenshield, who goes back to reclaim his kingdom under the mountain from the great and fearsome dragon Smaug. It's exciting to have this sword in the museum, along with the, the other's brothers and sisters, if you like, because it's, it represents modern sword-making skills. Um, and these are very, very finely made swords, using lots of old traditions, uh, but also using, of course, um, electric grinders and modern-day technology. It weighs over six pounds. Um, it's the biggest one in the series of five swords so far produced designed by Paul Tobin, and it was built by Peter Lyon, who has built all the others in the series. But it's a hell of a blade, as you can see. And uh, you'll be able to see it here at the Royal Armouries very, very shortly.